Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I have September's Summer Lodge Hutch Tour for you. Now, I have a few things to explain first of all. The first thing is that a few months ago, Rosie got out of her hutch. We don't know how, because the doors were closed, the mesh wasn't broken, there were no holes or gaps in the hutch. We think that somebody came around our back garden and let her out. So, we had to install padlocks on all of the doors, but unfortunately on one of the doors we had to block it off and permanently, but temporarily, close it until we can sort out what's going on with the mesh. So that's a real disappointment as well because obviously I can't open that door. So I'm really sorry that we've had to do that to the hutch but if it makes Rosie a lot safer then it puts my mind at rest. So I'm also thinking about decorating it for Halloween as we know October is next month so if you could leave some suggestions on how I can maybe decorate it for Halloween then I would appreciate that. Okay, so I wanted to start down in this bottom section just to get this out of the way because this is definitely my least favourite part of the hutch now, especially the bottom left hand corner. <laughs> also filming is going to be more difficult I just realised so, oh that's even more disappointing. <laughs> On the mesh door Rosie has her daisy chain garland chew. I purchased this from Pets at Home last year and as you can see she's chewed it quite a lot. Rosie isn't much of a chewer so this is quite a big deal for her. Here is just a quick overview of what you can find down here. The bedding that Rosie has is still straw. The first thing that Rosie has down here is her hay tray. This is just filled with Burgess XL hay and we're actually using the clear one now because the original white one that I had has gone missing and I don't know where it's gone so I'm just using this one for now. She has this willow twist ball which I bought from Pets at Home. It was originally a ball but as you can see she has chewed the complete top half of it so it's not much of a ball anymore. I really recommend those. This is one of my favourite toys that Rosie has in her hutch. This is the rainbow mobile that I bought from Viovet for Rosie's Christmas present last year. Don't worry, it will not fall out. It's very secure and very safe. So moving on to the bottom left hand door. As you can see, I can't open this anymore. It is locked in with screws and it's really, really annoying. So I... I'm going to have difficulties filming this for the time that it's closed. I don't know how long it will be closed for. I don't know if it will be closed forever. I don't know at all. <laughs> it's also been closed with one of my favourite garland shoes which really upset me because it's one of my favourite designs so that means I'll have to go out and buy another one. Okay, down in this section Rosie still has her straw. She has a water hyacinth ball, which is one out of the three balls from the trio of play balls from Pets at Home. This is one of her favourite ones. She also has this wicker ball, which is also from the trio of play balls, but this is her least favourite one. That is basically all that she has down there. She also has Corny the Owl buried somewhere in the straw, but he's quite difficult to find sometimes so. It has this knobbly Nora which is also securing one of the run doors so that it doesn't open or anything but she really enjoys chewing that. Moving on to the top of the hutch which is my favourite place right now. <laughs> Starting on the right hand side of the hutch on the mesh door she has three board and breakers slash pay feeders and mirrors and things like that. The first thing that she has is this apple cover that was from Viavet and I also attached one of the big bark chews to there and she's been having a little bit of a nibble on that so that's quite pleasing. She just has her hay ball slash veggie ball that I bought from Pets at Home and that's just also full of Burgess XL hay. And then lastly we have this bird toy mirror bell thing <laughs> that was sent to us so that just stays there and she really really likes that toy. Here's just a quick overview of what's here. I haven't clogged it up full of toys, I just tend to stick to little wood shoes up here. Here is Rosie's food bowl, it is full today actually. She hasn't gotten around to eating her nuggets yet. Also just on the mesh she has her water bottle and this is just one of the classic water bottles for rabbits and guinea pigs. And I fill this up every single night to make sure that it's got clean and cool water. 
This is Rosie's last compartment which is her bedroom and this just has her litter trays and piles of hay inside. She has her cat litter tray which is just full of the pets at home cat litter and it's also in her corner litter tray which I also purchased from pets at home. In her cat litter tray she has some meadow hay and then she also has her pile of Burgess XL dandelion and marigold herbage just in the corner. So she has two choices of hay. And there you go, that is September's hutch tour. And I said I'd do a Halloween hutch tour, I don't know if I will decorate it, it like depends on if I can think of any ideas, but I'll try my best to do it. If I don't film an October hutch tour, it's because I haven't decorated it. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed it, I'm really sorry that we've had to ruin the hutch basically but if it means that Rosie's safe then it's what we would do. So thanks for watching and we'll see you all again soon, bye!